Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro, or I guess you'd call it key. So how to key in Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically what this is, is you take a piece of footage with some green screen behind it, and you can key it out so you can put it in other pieces of footage or do some different effects. So, as you can see right here, there obviously is not an alpaca standing in the middle of this Japanese alleyway but it was added in and you know it doesn't look the most realistic because the lighting has to be the same that's one of the most key aspects of this and I can't change the lighting because I'm not the one who shot it but I can affect it and I did color correct it a little bit to make it look good so let's kind of just jump right into this I'm gonna go ahead and create myself a new sequence so file new sequence gonna go with the default settings we'll see if we need to change them gonna go over here and I'm gonna drag in my base footage so what I want to stick it onto we're gonna change it to that zoom it in here and so now we just have this Tokyo background nothing really going on here um, and now we want to add this alpaca in here and why are we adding an alpaca because it was free online and it's royalty free so I downloaded it and I thought it would be fun to use now this right here is what I would call a perfect background so the background is completely and totally green and it could have even been keyed out before and then someone else added green back in to transport it to someone you know so instead of having an alpha channel where it's transparent they can just put green in the background and then give it to someone else and that person can then key it out so that's kind of what looks like happened here because of how consistent the green is but regardless it's going to work the same way if we go into effects we're going to search for something called ultra key that is the keying software in premiere pro so that's the one that we want to use it's the best uh, that comes by default. I think there are some available plugins I can make ones that are better, but Ultra Key works out pretty well. So we're going to drop it right here, and then we're going to change the key color, which for some reason starts off as black. I would think it would start off as green because that's what you're going to be using the most, but hey. So we're going to click on this key, and as you can see, it just basically works. Um, it almost completely removes the green. It actually removes it almost entirely, and now all we have to do is just some adjustments. And with a perfect key like that, and even some really well-lit ones like Hollywood Studios and stuff, it will be that green on just regular footage. You just have to click, and it's literally basically done. If you want to clean it up a little bit, what you can do is go into the alpha channel right here, and this is going to show you what is being represented by white and what is being keyed out, which is the black. So we can kind of mess with the highlights and stuff here. So if you notice, if we go to the shadows, it's going to affect the black, which is going to let it kind of come in a little bit, and then the highlights will affect the white and sort of the um, removing some of the features and the dots from the black. So if we drop this down, you see there's some dots right here, we're going to remove that. And like I said, we actually don't really need to touch this one. So I'm going to show you another piece of footage uh, where we might need to actually add some adjustments to it. So we're just going to go with what this looks like right now. Go back to composite, and you see it right here. One of the most important things when you're using green screen footage is to get the lighting right so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and you see it has a heavy light on the top so the best place that i can see to put this is right here where this light would kind of react to it and then we would need to add a shadow under it um, which is kind of complicated after effects would make it a little easier but even there it would be a little complicated you need to take this make it black turn it around and sort of put the shadow in but we're not going to go over that we're just going to go over keying right here so what you might want to do with this is you might want to also correct it maybe make it a little orange to adjust for this light right here drop the exposure down because it is in a dark alleyway and then right about now that's probably as best as you're going to get it for this shot but pretty easy key so let's go into a different piece of footage right here let's say we wanted to grab this one and a lot of times these sort of um Overlays will have a green screen behind it so you can key it out, but you see this isn't very consistent. It has dark on the edges and it's sort of light in the middle. So if we click the button, we're going to go back into effects. We're going to go to ultra keys right here and we're going to drag it onto the snowy Christmas scene right here. And once we click the button, uh, we can choose an arrow. We can choose either the bright point or the dark point. doesn't really matter. We're going to have to work basically a little bit into it either way. And over here you can see which color you're choosing. So I'm going to go with something right in the middle and now you think oh that looks fine it looks like it just worked and this is why we need to jump into our alpha channel and now you can see that it didn't work out very well actually the only th what we're getting right here is it's actually adding a vignette around the edges and you can see that they're very dark here and there's probably a little bit of a green hint which you can actually see right about there so that's not good what we want to do is we want to bring up the alpha channel and let's fix this. There's also coloring down here and we really don't want that coloring because that means that part of this is slightly less opaque than the other which means that 
um, part of this is being slightly transparent. We want this to be an overlay. So what we can do is we can bump up the highlights and you can see that that sort of fills in those white spaces and it makes them all white right here. And that means that this is completely in the scene and it also brings back our snowflakes really clearly. And then we can go into the shadow right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down. We're gonna take these blacks and we're gonna throw them down. And now you can see that there's a nice black and white contrast. So now when we go back into composite, there isn't those edges anymore that there used to be. And you can see that it just literally adds them right into the shot. And now if we play this, oops, there's some music here. I'm gonna unlink really quick. Now if we play this, you can see that the snowflakes are coming down. And maybe you wanna make some more adjustments. Maybe you didn't like that if we bring up the highlights, you can see that it kind of brings some more of the back end snowflakes up too. So maybe we wanna bring that all the way up and you kind of get even more snow and it's actually looking better like that. So you know, you wanna kind of jump back and forth between composite and alpha to try to figure things out. You can also do with a tolerance here, which is going to be basically how large of a range around your color do you want it to take away. This might be important if you have someone wearing a slightly off green shirt and then green in the back. You don't wanna increase this or maybe you need to decrease this so it doesn't key out his shirt a little bit. The rest of these are sort of um, advanced sort of stuff in here. There's basically matte cleanup and that's for affecting the, if we go into the alpha channel, it's going to be cleaning up the matte right here. Um, and then there's spill suppression, which is trying to remove that green that can kind of come around the edges sometimes, especially with hair. So you can kind of bring this in and uh, sort of condense it a little bit. And I'm gonna make a tutorial in the future on more advanced green screen, but this is just sort of the basics, sort of how to get started and try to start working with it. And that is basically it for the basics um, with green screening. So you just kind of gotta drop Ultra Key on and work in the matte generation for the most basic stuff to try to get it to look right then just sort of play around with it and see if you can't get something that looks good also something important is that sometimes you don't want a uh, part of the shot in there so let's say that the edges right here were really bad and maybe they were even blue we can actually crop this in and only green screen the inside so if there's some bad areas of your green screen crop it in so only the subject is in there and then green screen over it other than that that is it. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and hit that, or go ahead and comment below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products, kind of focusing on Premiere Pro. And yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys, see ya.